Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the boys trapping. They have ran, well, two of them were on a 200 mile run. We're gonna include that at the end in when we give our totals, but now they're here on the property trapping the homestead, trying to get rid of some predators because we've got a problem. And really what we wanna raise is deer, turkeys, bob, uh, not bobcats, bob white. That sounds better. Bob white quail, rabbits, and the whole nine yards, all that stuff that's good, yummy to my tummy stuff. And you might say, but I thought you ate a coyote last year. We tried one. It's not necessarily yummy to my tummy stuff and I wouldn't eat them all that much. But anyway, today's video, we're gonna talk about their trapping. As you see, front and center. We've got the coyote. This is the first coyote they've caught this year. This is David's first coyote ever. Is that right, David? Yep. Last year, I sort of half-heartedly trapped the place and caught six. So we're going to see how many coyotes they can catch. But also on top of the list is bobcats, foxes, raccoons, and possums. So that's what we're going to be trying to catch in today's video. Stay with us because I got a feeling they might catch more than that. But let's look at this coyote. We're going to get him dispatched, get him, I don't know, yeah, probably to the house because they're selling fur this year. So let's do it. Big bad boy. He got a good color. He definitely not the ugliest one I've ever caught here. He's trying to get around to give a good long shot. We don't like shooting him in the head. Am I going to edit this part out? Oh. And that's a long shot, boys. See the mouth open? No breath is coming in. And down goes Fraser. That's it. Just as simple and easy. The old Western Auto single shot 22 is a great trapper's gun. You don't have to worry about bumping scopes or nothing like that. And look at that. That trap circle is going to be perfect for attracting more. So they're going to get it reset and we'll see you down the trail. We're probably not going to show you the how to's of setting traps and baiting and all that. There are videos all over the place on that. And I don't know if we even doing it right, but we're catching stuff. Time to get him out. That is a nice, is that a 550? Yeah. MB? I think the Duke. Duke. Look at that paw catch. Nice, nice grab right there. You did a good job, Dave. I was supposed to catch the first time. <laughs> Caleb, are you struggling? Yep. <laughs> well, I have a feeling you're gonna be catching some stuff, so don't be sad. And as you see there, the deer blind is right there. So there's no doubt the coyote is in our territory. We need to thin them out, save some fawns. The fawns will be born here really soon. Oh my goodness, Rusty, what's he got? Show me how long it is, son. That is a bobcat and a half right there. Hoo hoo! Tennessee old bobcat with plenty of spots. My goodness, that's a good one. Hoo hoo hoo! What'd you catch it on, Dave? Um, it was one of them piglets. Oh, a dead piglet. Yeah, and a little fox meat. Uh huh. A little bit of fox meat, a little bit of piggy. Oh my goodness, that's a beauty. We gotta weigh that real quick. Is that your biggest one of the year? I don't know. You caught a pretty big one on the big line? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't remember what it weighs. But Did you weigh it? Uh, I don't know. Okay. I wasn't there actually. Okay. <laughs> oh, they caught it while you were gone. Yeah, in my trap. Yep. That's a horse of a bobcat right there. I was out. Baiting my other trap, and Caleb just came walking up through there like it was just any old day. And then we went walking to check the rest of them. And I was asking him which ones he had already checked. 
And I said, did you check the ones up in there? And he said, yeah, but I ain't telling you nothing. <laughs> and I looked up in there and this thing was bouncing around. Oh, so he, he done a good job keeping a secret. Yeah. <laughs> did he ever growl at you? Yeah, it growled almost the whole time. Oh, man. Just, just a really low, quiet one. Yeah. We caught this one on our property, folks. This would be really helping us out to save some baby fawns and to save some turkeys and probably a lot of quail and rabbits. Oh, my goodness. That dude ate a lot. There's no doubt he was living it up on the McGee farm, eating up our stuff. Glad to get him off of there. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't know if we'll eat this one or not. That last one we ate was awful good, but it was a young, half-grown one. Oh, is that a male or a female? I think it's a male. A male? Good oh, deal. Close. Yeah, it's a male. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> they hide, but yep, it's a male. That it is. Boy, this thing would have give Rusty a hard time it's so big. Yeah. I don't think Rusty could take it. About the same way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Let me go get the scales away weigh that gentleman. All right, David. Let's see what he weighs. Can you lift it high enough? <laughs> Whoa, 23.4 pounds. Beat me by a pound and point four. <laughs> 22 was my big one. Caught on the same property. Boy, oh boy, 23.4 pounds is a big bobcat. Are you gonna sell that fur? I think so. That'll be a good one to sell. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Good job, David. Let's take a look at them claws. And don't forget the teeth. Oh man, we're back again the very following morning and he caught the very first armadillo that we have caught or killed or it's only the second or third one we've even seen on this property. There's his tongue. And he caught it in a conibear trap, instant kill trap. And therefore, we can't eat it. If we shot it or caught it in a foot trap, we could eat it. When you strangle them, you can't eat them. Just traps blood in their bodies. But man, I'm happy to get him gone because they're really ravaging our woods. They have literally left like almost no leaves or anything in the woods. Where did you catch him down by the spring where we've been seeing him? No, it was actually in the field. Really? Out in the field? It was right beside where I caught the bobcat. Yesterday. Really? Just about 10, 15. Oh hours. my. So they're, they've run out of stuff to eat down there and they're coming up. So, oh boy, that was a shock, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I figured it'd be. I didn't figure I would catch <laughs> this in that. Uh, 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 did you have any kind of bait there, or was it just a blind set, or what? It was a den. A den. Oh, I so you think? Yeah, he he was living in there. Maybe it looked like he was coming in from the outside, though. Probably. It was. He might have just spent it after he got caught, but it was more like this and then uh -huh. down there. Uh -huh. Well, good job. The armadillos have made it to Tennessee. They don't bother me as much as fire ants. I'm afraid that the fire ants are coming right along with them. Good job, David. You got your first red fox ever? Yep. Oh, man, Rusty. <laughs> what do you think about that? That's a young red fox there, Caleb. Hooey! Dave, are you gonna skin it for him? I guess so. I'll get it started at least. <laughs> well, man, congratulations, young man. Here's our next <laughs> installment of What Did the Boys Catch? Joe caught a nice big fat raccoon. David got one, what, yesterday or day yeah, before? Yesterday. They're, they're piling them up and uh, doing a good job taking care of the hides and all that good stuff. We haven't eaten just a whole lot of them. We've been butchering mangalitsa hogs and eating high on the hog. You know how we roll? Every once in a while, we'll chow down on one. Well, today, David got a big old coon. He's already started peeling the hide off of it. 
16.8 pounds. That's a pretty good size for a Tennessee coonie. Go ahead and drop that fur and let them see. Look at that. Looking good in the hood. All right, today is the last day of the trapping. They are getting their stuff out right now, getting ready to pull all the traps. So let's see if there's anything on the trap line. I'll show you how they pull them out. They made a pretty good little rig. Here. What you got, Caleb? Yeah? Who made that? Mr. Joe made that. Yeah. All right, let's go pull some traps, boys. Show me where the first trap is, boys. When you look here, you can't see no trap. Oh, he stepped on it and snapped it. Oh boy, so here's how this thing works. They drive this thing in the ground. That's what keeps the animal from getting away. And they weld it together, this trap puller. Look at that. Using the wisdom of levers to pull the trap out of the ground. Pretty slick. All right, Caleb's gonna take us over and see a trap he's got over here in the woods. He's, there's no telling where he's taking me in here. <laughs> oh, I see. Nice little spot. Where would the trap be located? Right. Oh. How are you gonna snap it? Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Is it drove in the ground too? Can't pull it by hand, can you? Yeah. Can you? Are you authorized to use this? <laughs> Let's see if you got the strength and the abilities. Oh, come on now. Get behind there and push. Push it, baby. Oh, is he going to have to call his big brother? It's kind of coming. Keep it going, boy. Keep it going. Oh, you might want to make it where you can pull it instead of pushing it. You got to get your body to work. Yeah, you're going to get it. Come on. There you go. Hey, you don't need your big brothers to do it for you. <laughs> hey David, how many traps y'all got out here? I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll find out when we're done. Yeah. Isn't this trail where you caught the big bobcat at the end down here? Yeah. yeah? Let's go see which trap that was. Right. He's going to pull one up right there in front of our deer blind. He caught a huge coon on it, 16 pound coon. And while he does that, we'll pull this one. This is the one that uh, had the big bobcat in it. Yeah. Oh, not this one. Okay, they've got trap skin here, thicker than hair on a dog's back. All right. David actually caught the 16 pounder down at the creek. Oh, he keeps telling me biggins. That was like an eight pounder. An eight pounder, okay. Eight pounds still big for a coon. Yeah. Ah, oh, he was ready for one to go around the backside with that one. Did you ever have trouble getting them drove in the ground with the roots and everything? Yeah. It's always can be a pain. Chicken feet. Yeah. Up in the tree. <laughs> Still there. Now Dave is going to take us to see the big location where the big bobcat was. It was more like that all the way down to the end. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, they'll tear it up. It was, I think it was still there. Yeah. Man, man. The same piglet you caught it with? Yeah. Awesome. Don't get your finger in no trap, boy. Can he pull it by hand? Yeah, they're going to pull pretty easy today. Everything is just pure mud. We've had 11 inches of rain this year. <laughs> yeah. There was a piece of fox meat in there, too. Oh, yeah. 
Ah. I think it's still better too. Yeah. All dried out. Yeah. I think the animals either got smart to your ways or else you thinned them out pretty good. I caught the armadillo in that hole. Really? So this is an armadillo hole. Oh Maybe. my. Them rascals are going to start messing up our property. It won't be long y'all have so many traps in your hands you won't be able to carry them. <laughs> what do you got, kid? An apple. <laughs> Did you catch anything up here, Matt? No. No? You got a spring on it. Man, you're fancy. Yeah, this is actually Joel's trap. Joel's trap? That's pretty fancy. Yeah spring on it like that they go running they go bouncing back and forth like a snipper snapper <laughs> yeah, I got one more up here okay the edges of these are really good to set where you got grass meeting the brush good for things like coons and bobcats possums they ain't too good for uh coyotes coyotes don't want to come into these areas don't get your hand in it, sonny boy. This is a bigger trap. Aha. Uh -huh. You was going for a bob kitty. Yeah. Look at him, Caleb. He just rips it out of the ground. No problem. What strength. All right, guys, all gather gather up here. Gather up here. Uh, before you finish taking your traps up, let's go around the circle. David, we need to take a census. What did you catch and how many of each? Um, possum. How many possum? Possum. I think I caught three. I don't remember the possum. Oh, boy. <laughs> they were delicious. Uh, raccoon. Five. Coyote, One. bobcat, two, uh, skunk. One. Anything I'm forgetting? Um, I caught a fox. A fox. And a armadillo. Armadillo. And a squirrel. And a squirrel. <laughs> and some uh, domestic animals. And domestic animals all released safely, I'm sure. <laughs> Joe, what did you catch this year? Three domestic animals, two coons, and three possums. Aha! Uh -huh. In a hard time for my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Them boys y'all went with on the long trap line probably really like to rub it in. Yeah. At least you beat him on the bridge contest. I mean, uh, uh, he beat me by 100 pounds. Oh, bless his heart. Yeah. Well, David beat him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, what you got to say for yourself, son? You didn't get to go on the big trip. What'd you catch this year, son? I halfway caught a possum. Halfway caught a possum? By the back foot. By the back foot. No skunks, no coons, bobcats, coyotes, domestic animals. Well, by George. <laughs> <laughs> Did we eat the possum? Can't remember. Oh, well, man. Hey, at least you had fun. Caleb, I know you had an awful year. How many, what'd you catch? Six possums. I've already forgot the other things you got. A bobcat, a fox. How many raccoons? Two. Two. And is that all? Yep. Nothing? No no domestic animals? Nope. Uh-huh. Yeah. One thing that David caught was our own dog, Rusty. That was a good catch right there. <laughs> but he's unharmed. I mean, they, these foot traps, people think they break their legs and everything. They don't break their legs. Our own dog got in it, and he's fine. All right, boys, I'm going to go and start bush hogging that corn stubble down, and 
Y'all finish picking up your traps, we'll see how many you had set. They made it back home. Look at all them traps. <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> Lord of mercy. What are you using that for, boys? Bobcat. Bobcat. Hmm. Man, you got every kind of trap in the world in here. And a chainsaw. <laughs> all right, boys, how many traps we got? Is that all the traps between here and the house and all the way and all points in between? Caleb's got some more. <laughs> Two more. Have we counted them yet? Okay. He said you got more than two more. Better not forget them in the woods. Uh, all right. Get them counted up and hang them up real pretty like so we can see them. That's my old one, ain't it? I think so. Looks like a loaf or a slice of bread. That's a double jaw. That keeps them from chewing their foot off and getting away. Rusty, do you, are you thinking about when you were caught in that trap, huh? Are you thinking about it? <laughs> he got a real sheepish look on his face. Hey, Rusty. Rusty, Rusty. <laughs> look at that tail. <laughs> uh, he was caught in one of these. You remember that? You remember that? Hmm? <laughs> he said that's a horrific memory. <laughs> oh, man. Beautiful looking traps all ready to be cleaned up. All right. We've got all the traps laid out and counted. Everybody's got their traps out. Tell me what the, what's these? What are these called, boys? Uh, one and three quarters. One and three quarters. Are they Dukes or what? Bridgers. Bridgers. What are these? MB450. MB450s. What are these? MB550s. 550s. What are these? DPs. You think these are? You think these are Duke 550s? Uh, no. Yeah, they are. They're 550s anyway. Yeah. Dog proof. Small conner bears. One twenty. One twenties. What do we got down here? More MBs. So that's the Duke 550s. 550s. And 450, MB 450s. 450s. That's an old trap. I think it's like a number two, but I don't know. One and a half, double jaw, dog proof. And yeah, number 11, double jaw. All right. And then the rest of these are older traps, I guess. 
them are all brand new, but they're, oh, they're okay. rusty. Brand new. We got a yeah. big con of bear. We got some spring traps, more double jaws. Oh, a 220 Belial. This one? That one. Yeah. That's something that uh, Mr. Cowboy, Camo Cowboy Outdoors uses those. He catches fishers with them. So, boys, how many traps did y'all have out? Seven. Seventy traps. My goodness, and they just now got them all picked up. They're going to get them cleaned up. Uh, are you going to just wash them, or are you going to go ahead and blacken them again, or what's a what's a process here? Uh, I think we're just going to spray them off. For spray now. them off for now. Well, that's good. Well, there you go, folks. That's a trapping video right there. That's something we do on the homestead to try to keep the place cleaned up from all these critters that like to kill everything. Not a problem having a few around, but hey, we're going to catch them. These guys provided us a lot of possum, bobcat, raccoon, skunk. I don't know what all we ate. We ate a little bit of everything. And of course, the hides... The fur auction is when? The next Saturday? Yeah. So they're going to be selling some of this fur. I don't have real high hopes they'll make a lot of money, but hey, if they make some, that's better than nothing. And at the same time, the main reason, saving their baby turkeys, rabbits, baby deer, a lot of things. I seen a woodcock today while I was bush hogging. It's just things like that that we like to have on our property. And... Trapping is a fun thing to do and a good way to just kind of keep your area cleaned up a little bit. So there you have it, folks. That's a little bit better than McGee having three traps out. I think they did a lot better job of cleaning up that place than I did last year. So that's all we got for you. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.